Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading today. We have another bomb reading, bombshell and breaking news. And I hope you guys are well today. Yeah, and let's see what else we have. What is the date today? The 21st? Wow, we're moving into Virgo season. I feel like it is um, in, uh, I feel like it's Thursday or Friday, the 22nd or the 23rd, but uh, I think it's the 23rd, but regardless, wow, we're moving into Virgo season, which is about getting organized. Yeah. <laughs> so if that's something you need to do, Capricorn, right? Capricorns are usually organized, but uh, we all sometimes need to take time out for that. It's about the details. It is paying attention to the details. Highly interesting. Let's see what we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and anybody else. Because this is for the collective. And so here we have the, um, this is the, what do you call this place over here? We, the cult. So they're at the temple and they're all, they shave their heads. And here's the guy with his BS that is, you know, really long, beautiful hair. And, you know, they're making a sacrifice. It's, I mean, it's kind of for him, but it's really, they're just making the sacrifice. That's what this is about uh, but it's about sacrifice in order to kind of uh, expand something or kind of move toward into something else. Because here is the Jupiter glyph here, excuse me, and that is uh, Sagittarius. Yeah, and so somebody here wants to expand with you and they're willing to make a sacrifice. Either that or they want you to go join this culty over here with Capricorn. Uh, maybe they want you to join with them. Here is the Taurus. The Venus glyph is here. Somebody's in love here. That's what this is about. This is about a sacrifice in love in order to move forward and expand. And we have this card. It's called Guilt. OMG. And here he is. And he's uh, running back toward the unicorn. And this is called, this is paradise here. The unicorn is here drinking from the sparkling stream or the babbling brook, whatever the sparkling stream, I guess sounds better. Uh, kind of the river of life sort of, but it's coming down here as this kind of waterfall. The landscape is very beautiful. We have these kind of, uh, this fruit here on this bush here, uh, very uh, Venus-like. And here's Virgo up here. Uh, we have Virgo, Taurus, Aries, and yeah, that's what we have here. And so Virgo, as I said, is about the details. Virgo is about analyzing. Somebody has already analyzed something. And yeah, they have interesting uh, about what they want. They're clear. So he runs back and says, wait, I'm glad you're still here. I'm glad paradise is still here because I want this now. And he's a knight. He's like a Roman kind of soldier here. But he, you know, he's coming from somewhere else. And he says, I don't want to be there. He says, I want to be here with you, Capricorn. And, you know, basically where paradise is. Yeah, wow. Uh, interesting card. Let's see what else we have for uh, transformation. And these don't read in the reverse. No, they don't. And so we have uh, transformation. And here's this, uh, this beautiful woman. And she is sitting here in the forest. And so here's the crescent moon over here and she's holding this kind of, kind of an altar or a box rather. And she, here is a giant amethyst and it is sparkling and gleaming. And what she is doing with that is, uh, amethyst is about protection. It is about, um, expansion. It is. And, uh, I believe this is uh, Sagittarius is, uh, it may not be though, but uh, and here it is right here. And so, yeah, this is a real, you know, like a real one it is. And so basically, you know, this is transformation though. And she's, that's what she wants. And, you know, this is about good luck and protection, the amethyst. And, uh, I think it's about hope as well, but here she is. And she's looking at that in the forest and she is dreaming about transformation and so somebody wants to transform something and wherever they were, they weren't happy. So now they are coming back and they may be transforming themselves. It could be that kind of that simple, right? It definitely could be. And so let's see what else we have. Uh, but something's like changing here. I'm pretty sure. Let's get another card. Or somebody wants it to change because all this Virgo energy here with the glyph 
and then transformation is the number it is 16 right and so this is a seven where we are assessing and that's what virgo does so somebody has figured out here that they're back to kind of either recoup what they lost or they're back to say hey look uh, i didn't know what i was doing before i didn't know what i was thinking but i'm changing and i know what paradise is now and divine protection yeah i was talking about protection this is divinely protected yes awesome so let's see what else we have for uh for sagittarius uh, for Capricorn, I beg your pardon, you guys, yeah, and now we have self-acceptance, so somebody is accepting probably that they made mistakes here, because he has made mistakes, this Roman soldier running back, right, and so somebody is accepting uh, that they were in their lower self, or something like that, they're accepting it, and now they're like, hey, uh, I just, uh, fine, uh, let me grow from it, and let me accept myself, and let me move into, uh, let me transform myself. Let me have change too. And, uh, and he's reaching up here. He's sitting in all these, uh, kind of like these swirls, but they're like candles and they are lighting the way for him. And he's here next to the water, trusting his intuition. And he is uh, reaching up, right? Reaching up and basically is kind of reaching up for his higher self, right? But he's, he's arrived. He has, let's see, we have these little drama cards today, Capricorn, right? We just feel like being dramatic, right? We do. We're so dramatic over here, right? Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, uh, and lack of confidence, self-sabotage. Ouch, right? That's the worst one. Uh, and you know, fear and ego issues and jealousy. So somebody might've had fear and ego issues because, they now they're realizing this like what is paradise and so there's regret here and somebody was probably frustrated in another relationship and now they are making a sacrifice this is the overall energy this card speaks of sacrifice capricorn uh that cult right that's what they do those people go live there at the temple and they sacrifice their sex life they eat what these people want them to eat. They wear the clothes they tell them to wear. They cut their hair that way. Uh, and I would have like, you know, jumped out the window or escaped in some way, right? But I wouldn't, I would never be there in the first place. <laughs> I remember when I was little, I used to see those, I used to see, um, you know, kind of some cult people who were, uh, I didn't understand, of course. And, you know, some people who join these cults are doing it because, they they feel like they belong there right but it is making a sacrifice and so but i didn't understand it because they were wearing like sandals and these kind of sheets or robes but it was dirty in the street with the sandals and you know this is san francisco uh it's dirtier now it is trust me <laughs> so here we have jealousy somebody's jealous here too somebody was in a relationship where it was not enough right it was not enough let's get another card uh, it just wasn't. And now Capricorn, uh, you're enough. You're definitely hard that you're the one, you are the one who represents this paradise. Yeah. And we have clock needing time takes time in time cycles, time to heal progress. So maybe somebody needed time to heal Capricorn, you or them. Uh, but you know, time progress does take time. Nobody grows overnight. Unless they went through the night of the soul, then, you know, they're like, Oh God, help and then they you know they can change quickly they can <laughs> the dark night of the soul right and if excuse me <laughs> if you would like your own psychic reading capricorn you sure can get one i'm a silver grad they're a lot of fun they're very eye-opening and empowering because of the awareness they bring uh yeah and uh, we do them on the phone or a video call and so, yeah, and we, there just are, and they can be about you and your aspects or guidance that you need about your life, but they can be about somebody else. So the, and the combo is the one I suggest, recommend, because you get the tarot at the end. So now you have uh, more kind of another tool, right, to uh, read the energy and things like that. Uh, so let's get into this right now. Everything's in the description box below. There's the calendar, and you can uh, click on that. And we have the hermit. The Ten of Wands, we might have a Virgo here because the Virgo glyph is here. Uh, and there's another, this, this transformation can be kind of Virgo because it's a seven. And you know, I'm thinking, I know, I understand, it means that somebody was really in reflection about them needing to change 
or them needing change in their life because there's some type of a relationship where somebody was frustrated with this card. And uh, the Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords, and the Seven is about reflection. And the Seven of Swords can be about, uh, I've been in reflection, and it can be about a plan, a plan to leave, and he's leaving. He's taking his swords. He actually took, uh, he only has uh, four swords here. Or does he have five? Uh, he only has four. Wow. And there's two swords over here. I wonder what happened to the other sword. Uh, but the sevens are about evaluating. Maybe I can't see it. And, uh, and there's a lot of evaluation here. There definitely is. And uh, interesting, he leaves two there. But this is about a plan. And we have the death card. And this is transformation. The Five of Cups is also uh, about change. It's also about grief or regret. And there is regret here. And I explained that, right? There's regret that somebody didn't realize that they were holding a gem and that was you, Capricorn. Yeah, they didn't realize that. And so, mm -hmm. and uh, we start with the Virgo card. This is spiritual growth. This is soul growth here. And he, you know, he steps away. The thing that is kind of cool about the, about the hermit is that he knows he needs soul growth. Yeah. He's not running around going nothing. I don't need to change. No, you do. Or you know, <laughs> nothing like that. He knows he needs that. That's why he goes to live in the, in the mountains, right? The kind of, uh, the, you know, the original kind of hermit here. Uh, and you know, if he stays there for the rest of his life, he's probably, uh, maybe he didn't go and find the answers that he needs or he didn't grow enough. Right. Uh, you know, because the original or the original meaning of this is to kind of step away and reflect, right. Uh, step back even from society. And that's what Virgo is all about the analysis and which is great because you can hire them for the details and analyzing, but or just any work that is detail oriented. Um, but, uh, but sometimes they can worry because they get caught up in the details, right? Yeah, that can be, uh, that is very Virgo and anybody can have that in their chart. You could have, uh, you could have Mercury in Virgo, right? You could, and wow. And you know, that is, that could definitely be that. And you know, Virgo also Mercury is the planet, uh, right? For Virgo too. But I'm just saying there are uh, astrological placements or transits in your chart that can make you kind of that way that can make you either worry or you're overly detail oriented, things like that. Right? So in the reading here, there could be a Virgo simply said, right? There could be. <laughs> and so here we have the 10 of wands in the challenge. So whatever the soul growth was here was, was burdening. But it's freeing. There's somebody's freeing themselves here. Yeah, they are freeing. And he's freeing himself as he returns to the paradise. He's running away from something he had or, you know, or where he was. He goes, oh, no, my freedom is here. This is my freedom and my paradise. And so the Ten of Wands sits in the challenge. It's hard to drop the Ten Wands here because it sits in the challenge. Uh, this could be where somebody might have been in a relationship and it's not so easy just to go, hey, uh, you know, I'm, I'm moving Friday night, right? Right. And so here we have not enough frustrated in relationship. So that could be that right here. And this 10 of wands is a completion. It is an ending of sorts, right? And so he's going to lay these down and this is almost like the tower. He cannot continue to hold those 10 wands. Uh, they're bigger than him, right? And they're very cumbersome. So he's going to eventually lay those down. So that's, what's going on in the reading. And why it's all happening here is the seven of swords. Somebody did plan to leave a relationship where there is lack. There is some type of lack, uh, frustration. I don't, I'm not happy enough, or there's not a lot of passion. Uh, maybe there's jealousy too. And, you know, jealousy is, uh, it's another subject we can uh, really talk about. Right. But not, not right now. Uh, but somebody might be jealous here, especially if they feel like they're in a relationship where somebody feels like they are not enough for them, uh, because that could be the storyline here. It could, and let's get a card on the 10 of wands or definitely part of it. Uh, we're using abundance. We're using uh, this little card, this little deck 
Keep a positive mindset and manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Now, this abundance is the exact opposite of the Ten of Wands, which I just said is really a lack. Uh, it's a burdening lack, something that is unhappy, that is, you know, it's been there for a long time because it is a Ten uh, and it needs to be let go. And so somebody kind of lets something go so they can have uh, abundance in their life. And somebody's very grateful. Somebody is living, they have shifted their perspective about you into gratitude because that's what the, that's what the Roman soldier does. He runs back. He goes, what? Uh, I'm really grateful for you, right? I'm happy and grateful to have you. Please. I'm so glad that you're still here because the unicorn is here with the sparkling stream representing this paradise that still exists here. He's like, oh, I'm so glad you're still here, right? And so Capricorn, you're somewhere here not showing, right? Uh, you know, on the somewhere close in that little area there where the sparkling stream and the unicorn exist. Yeah, and so uh, we have the seven of swords in the root with the devil reversed. Yeah, somebody's trying to, uh, somebody feels restricted. The devil reversed is let me release myself from this restriction. And let me even, somebody might have escaped here. And when I say escape, they might have left without saying why they're going. But if we see jealousy in this card over here, somebody kind of is jealous because they're feeling that something's, something's going on. Or they feel like their person maybe is returning to you. Uh, but, you know, there's insecurity in this reading. Somebody is very insecure here. There is. And so the King of Cups here uh, in the past could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We have Virgo. There's you, Capricorn, potentially the Devil, the Death card, Scorpio, and the Justice card, Libra. The King of Swords can be Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And with the King of Cups, we have the Three of Cups. Somebody made a decision in love. Uh, to to live joyfully we have it here keep a positive mindset manifest what you want gratitude and bliss and so the death card is the mindset but this is transformation right change profound change and eight of swords in the near future this is a release of these wands the ten of wands again because i have the sister deck here uh you know the little sissy deck here uh, the same card exactly. Somebody releases this uh, this burden here, and something ends with the ten. Now the first card here was release. Now you know this is also sacrifice, and uh, I mean sacrifice. I said was the first card, and it's also release, right? It's it is. It's like just releasing something, uh, and sacrificing something, right? A sacrifice is always an ending in some way right? You're giving something up for something that you want, that you feel is better for you. And the justice card, uh, with the pretty, ju uh, pretty judge here, right? Two of cups. And so we see here that the concern here is this couple and they're a power couple or they are soulmates. Um, yeah. And so there is power here because we see the lion above it. There's strength and there's self mastery. And there is admiration here. And so, and there's a recognition. He's recognizing her that you're, you're, you're it for me. You're, you're my soulmate. You're the one I want, um, for sure. And, uh, and you're even healthy because here's the caduceus here, which represents health. And so we have here the justice card with it. A decision is made here. And we know a decision is made because here's the king of swords. And that's what he does, right? He's not cutting fish. No, uh, with his sword, right? He's not, he's not a lumberjack. No, he's making decisions with his sword. And uh, we have in the environment, the seven of cups reverse, six of swords. A choice was already made. There's no more confusion. I'm doing this. And here he is running back to his place of paradise. He is not confused. He's like, I'm here. I know exactly what I want. So here we have the six of swords and this is like very much like the death card. This is transition, change, forward movement, uh, a death. And I am not yet to my new beginning. I'm not, uh, but I am on my way. Five of cups is the hopes. There could be regret here because somebody has 
uh, maybe sacrificed you, but there's regret because somebody does get released here or some situation gets left out. Yeah. And so, um, and you know, maybe that has to do with this jealousy and fear and ego and just stuff like that, uh, frustration in a relationship. So that could definitely be related here. And we have, uh, the King of Swords in the potential outcome, and it is showing up with the nine of cups. And look at that. I've made my decision. I know who my wish is, and I'm going for that. And we're getting this reading Capricorn, get your psychic reading, get your progress chart to help you. Everybody should have a natal chart. It is so highly fascinating, meaningful, and personal. So we're going to end this. Thank you so much and empowering. Yes. Thanks so much. Hit that little bell so you can uh, get, you know, my uploads. All right, you guys, uh, you rock. Thank you.